He surrendered our air base. He surrendered our weapons. He surrendered our embassy. They spent a billion dollars building this ridiculous embassy. And he abandoned our great American citizens. They're over right now. They have no idea. Remember this, the Taliban's tough. And they don't respect our country, and they don't respect our president. It's not good. They're over there now, and they don't know what's going to happen, our citizens. Joe Biden was going on vacation as Afghanistan was going to hell. And this is what you get when you have weakness in the White House. You can't have weakness in the White House. They have to respect your president. When I was president, we only had strength. Remember the 59 shots we took at Syria? 59 missiles, every single one of them hit their target from 700 miles away. And I was sitting with President Xi of China, you remember? Having chocolate cake at Mar-a-Lago, it was wonderful cake. And when I said to him what we had just done, the missiles were launched, he looked at me and he goes, repeat. I didn't know he spoke English, actually. He said, repeat. I said, what did you just say, repeat? So he spoke a little more English than I thought, because he never said hello, but he said, repeat. <laughs> and I said, we just shot 59 missiles in from ships very far away. Every one of them hit their target. It was an incredible display of talent and weapons. And the reason, <laughs> the reason we did that is because we had to, because President Obama and Biden drew the red line in the sand and said, don't cross it, and they crossed it, and nothing happened.